In this video, I'll show you how to remove the Yahoo search engine from Google Chrome. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. If you found that your default search engine for Google Chrome is now switched to Yahoo, I'll show you how you can change this and also go ahead and fix it from happening again in the future. So firstly, to go and change this, what you need to do is go to the top right and go and tap on the three dots in Google Chrome and then go down to settings just like so. Then once you're in your settings, you then need to go over to the left hand side to where it says search engine just here. Then it will say search engine using the address bar. And as you can see, mine is set to Yahoo. So tap here. And then what you can do is go and choose Google. Our search engine is now switched back to Google. But if you didn't go and originally go and change it to Yahoo, you may be wondering, well, how this has happened? Well, usually it's happened because perhaps you've gone and installed a certain extension, or you may have gone and installed an app on your computer, which is then going to change your default search engines to Yahoo. So if you've gone and installed any apps recently, then that could be the reason why. However, if you haven't, but you've gone and installed some extensions recently, then it's probably worth going and removing that or maybe disabling it if you don't want your search engine to be Yahoo again. So to go and view your extensions, all you need to do is go to the top right of Chrome and tap on this puzzle piece here and then go down to manage extensions. Then what you can do is if you've got and installed any recently, you can go and remove them or just go and switch them off. Alternatively as well, if you're finding that your search engines are switching without you doing anything, you may actually have a virus or malware on your computer. So it may be worth uh, running some sort of antivirus on your computer. A good free antivirus you can try is called Malwarebytes. There is a premium version of it, which has got a trial as well. Um, but yeah, I use that personally and hopefully that will then go and fix your problem. If you guys found this useful, then please consider leaving a like. Peace.